Welcome to Ginger Tech Talk. Today I'm going to show you how to partition your hard drive. Now what does partitioning your hard drive mean? It's dividing the space in your hard drive into separate data areas. And why you're going to want to do this? It makes your computer run faster. You can organize information and files a lot easier and it's a step to dual booting an operating system. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your computer, right click on it and click manage. A little box will come up, click continue. Now when this opens, you're going to want to click Disk Manager. Okay, these are all the partitions you already have on your computer. The OS one is the one with Windows on it and all the files you have on your computer right now. So this is the one you're going to want to make your partition from. So right click on it and click Shrink Value. Okay, now it's asking enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. So one gigabyte equals 1024 megabytes and I want to make this partition 50 gigabytes so I'm gonna to wanna to enter 51,200 and click shrink and this will take a couple of minutes here's a new space we've created from our old partition to make this into a partition right click on it and click new simple volume a wizard will pop up and click next now it wants to know how much space do we want to put into our new partition I want to use all the space we've created so I'm gonna leave it as it is and click next now you can sign a letter drive to it you can choose any letter you like, but I'm going to pick U and click Next. Now we'll leave this checked as it is. Now it's asking for an allocation unit size. Now by default, it's 4096. So what that means is if you write 4096 bytes, it will save 4096 bytes and move on to the next allocation. But if you write one byte, it will save one byte and it'll, you'll lose 4095 bytes. So by picking the lowest number, it will be really slow but you'll save a lot of space. And by picking the highest number, you'll move really fast, but you'll waste a lot of space. So I suggest you pick default. Now you can name it. I'm going to name it Ubuntu because I'm going to put Ubuntu on this partition and click Next. Now all you have to do is click Finish, and this will take probably close to 30 minutes. You successfully made a partition. If you open up your computer, you'll see that it's right next to your operating system and your recovery partitions. Well, thanks for watching Ginger Tech Talk.